Howdy folks, this is Jackers, back again with another episode of Morris Goes to Oblivion, this time with episode 136, and we are here at, uh, which camp are we at? Is this Dagny's? Yeah, Dagny's camp. I have gone off and lightened, or at least altered, our load, so we're back in heavier armor now, and left some things back at Battlehorn Castle, and we actually ran into someone when we got back here who made the foolish mistake of introducing himself to Dee Dee in an unkind fashion. I will turn it over now to Morris, uh, the High Elf, and things should go much more smoothly. Yes, well, when don't they really? I mean, it is me after all. Now, I do believe we have another camp to go visit, and of course, Dee Dee is just ever so excited to be back romping through the hills. That, for all the world, looks like a gate, but... It doesn't appear to be, you, you know, burning. Oh well, perhaps that... Oh no, just a... Just a wolf with bad ideas. No, nope, that... Don't know if I caught that one. Oh, I guess it is operational. I didn't think we'd taken care of any out here, but you know... Occasionally, things may slip my mind. Probably some influence of that human. Anyway... It is always so lovely to travel the hill. What on earth? Well, not often you see the comets leave the planet. Who did fire that? And, well, quite honestly, why? Well, there's a mountain lion I grow. Oh, fine. I was not going to bother you, but... Unfortunately, you didn't really leave us much of a choice, but I am ever so curious as to where that fireball came from. It looked to be going along this trajectory, but... And then there are these standing stones here. Let's take a look at these. I thought we had seen others, but it seems those have slipped my mind as well. Riemann Runestone. Stone stirs under your hand. Do you seek its conjured weapon and armor? Oh, sure. Why not? What on earth do we have? A bound cuirass. A bound axe. Why not? At least it's a blunt weapon and not a bladed. So we don't have to worry about over-leveling. If I put it away, however, I do believe it will disappear. So, bound axe it is. Like a horse with a blinder on one side only. Well, you know. Let's be clear, my best weapon is DD anyway. You are... you are kidding, aren't you? You're a ham sandwich with an attitude. Your turn, darling. Oh, you see, we play such games together. Here, darling, you can have some boar meat later. Ah. Come along, darling. There are more things to break up here. Oh, pardon me. I forgot my accompaniment. <laughs> Darling, what were you thinking? Eleven dwarven arrows. We'll take those. You can keep your laced pants. You know, it's funny. That's just what we were thinking. I'll take care of the archer, perhaps, darling. 
You and your silver dagger, is it? All right. Fine. And a little bit of blunt skill. Battle Axe of Decay. I don't think it's quite as good as the other one. Maybe it is. Disintegrate armor, 40 points on self. Well, perfect time to be wearing the bound armor instead, isn't it? Mage Hunter's Helmet, resist magic, 11% on self, mithril boots, and cuirass. A dwarven cog, four lockpicks. No note. I have recovered all of the missing dwarven artifacts. I should take them to Bothiel at the Arcane University at once, so she can repair the orrery, of which I know nothing. Or at least remember nothing. I should have studied harder before I left the future. Anyway, eleven dwarven arrows. Well, they had a uniform, didn't they? Everyone enjoyed their lace pants. Now, uh, let's perhaps invest in some restoration practice. Getting better at that as well. Pear and a rice. Corn and a potato. Gold nugget. Well, that I'll take. I mean, if I do ever decide to really invest in alchemy, I could certainly just come to all the camps and gather all the food. Now, we need to go to the Imperial City, which... Quatch. Here we are. But, Arcane University. Excellent. Oh, I have an arrow sticking in me, don't I? Ah, you must be the Arcane University's newest addition. This humble battle mage bids you welcome. You, you don't get into the office much, do you? I am the Archmage. Am I not? Have I done something to... get in trouble, kill the member again? No, no, still the Archmage. Wonderful guards we have. Perceptive and knowledgeable. Ah, Bothio. There you are. What is it? Good afternoon. You Darling. have them? The items I requested? What? Give them to me, please. After that greeting? Yes. Yes. Oh. This seems to be everything. Here's your reward. Thank you again. No, no, darling. Let's have well a little met. chat, shall we? What? Please, go on. What kind of greeting was that? With a hundred percent disposition. Bothiel, are you having a bad day? Good day. Reminus, what did you do to Bothiel? All right, let's see. Wait, what? Why do I need a key? Bothiel has given the dwarven art has been given the dwarven artifacts necessary for the orrery. I should give her a day to make the necessary repairs and then visit the orrery again at the Arcane University. Well, I suppose we can go up to our room. I know I cracked this, but these are replicas. Except for the soul gem. Anyway, what is rattling on the floor? What do we have here? Oh, I think I must have long forgotten to pick up what I had left. Which I'm fairly certain was vampire dust. Well, you know, it happens. Let's just take a day. Shall we? Ugh, much better. Repairing the orrery. The orrery at the Arcane University should be functional once more. I can visit it as often as I like and also receive powers based on the phases of the moon. Fascinating.
No. How do you do? Quite well, Ramenus, when you're not, you know, expelling me from the Order. Into the Orrery we go. Dwayma Kronstrucks. Wonderful. Well met. Of course. Well, well met. How does this work? No. No answer, huh? Bye. All right. <laughs> yes, bye. Why would I want to know how the massive Dwemer mechanism works? All right. Imperial Orrery Council. I have activated the Imperial Orrery. Oh my. Yes, I certainly have. Magnificent. Art and artifice all mixed. Truly. The Dwemer were wonders at their work, but what does it do? Or, more appropriately, what do I do with it? You receive a new power from the Orrery, Secunda's Brilliance, and what exactly is that? Um, power. I would presume that would be here. Secunda's Brilliance. Fortify Intelligence. 20 points for 60 seconds on self-drain willpower. Well, that's entirely useless. Why would I want to do that? What do we have here? Fortify Strength, Fortify Blade, Fortify Blunt, Fortify Hand. See, that, that is a power. This is a trade. Well, oh my. Lovely. Look at that. Just amazing. I mean, not the most musical of devices, but beautiful. All the same. All right. Now that we have a trade instead of a power and have completed what we were doing for... Othiel... Darling, I know you're an Ultima, but one Ultima to another, you do need to work on your sentient being skills. You're really not very good at them. Thank you, dear. Here endeth the lesson. Ravenous? All right, I don't think we need to create any spells or enchant anything overwhelmingly. What? Oh, right, we got quite a few arrows from those generous archers, didn't we? Now, now. All right, let's see. Back at those camps. What was the name of that place? Broch, wind, no. Hastral, wasn't it? Fort Hastral. Let's take a look inside, shall we? Vampires aplenty, as I recall. Well, and this poor fellow. All right, let's go into a slightly sneakier mode. We did check these caskets, as I recall. Well, sarcophagi, I suppose. And then we burned this fellow down here. Lace pants. It is just lace pants season, I suppose, in Cyrodiil. Well... Of course, I am ahead of the fashion curve, so... Not following the trend. Fascinating. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ah, waited too long. No, no, I don't think I want to see what your weapon does. Now. That is a bit... Aggravating. Uh, it's just weakness, though. 
but it is blunt rather than a blade. Otherwise, I use Umaril's sword or something. Well, let's disintegrate his armor, shall we? Oh, look at me. Contracting porphyric hemophilia and all. Oh, yes, quite. This is not good. Get off. All right, let's do a bit of healing. I don't always object to vampirism, but I don't know that I want to pick it up from an orc. Especially when we could just go back to the brother, uh, Dark Brotherhood and, well, pick it up from a friend. You know, a bit in the future, but not quite as far as where I started. It took three days before you realized you'd been bitten, and only then when you woke up in a mausoleum. As for us, actually I'm quite surprised we contracted it with that level of resistance. I don't think it's the only one we have either. Something tells me we had a bit more. I don't actually recall the process of advancing. Oh, I think I went the wrong way. Or perhaps I didn't. I am more confused than often. Let's see here. No, we have not been this way, but before we go there, he came from here. Let us investigate. That is not a sarcophagi I can play with. This looks like one of my arrows, but that I cannot play with. Switching to Dee Dee's page, switching back to our glass bow. Ah, terrible. And then it disappeared on me. Well, average chest, we can play with that. If the pick ever decides to move. Of course. Of course. There we are. 25 gold, one lock pick for three or four, and a repair hammer. Well, and a skull. Like you do. And another. Well, apparently he was playing with his skulls. So we came through this door. What did you leave? An elven maze. A little alcove here with a chest. There we are. Better. 31 gold. I do believe I hear one of Dee Dee's favorite toys. Dee Dee, darling. Exploding bones. Well... Such a happy little girl when she gets to play with her skeletons. Did he have anything fun, darling? Steel shield. Did he have a weapon? Did you see which way it went? Ah, here. Silver mace. And we get our dwarven arrow back, and to gold you keep your rat meat to yourself. Looks like a dead end to me here. Let's check that other position. Twenty-three gold. And I think we will probably hold our position here. 
and investigate further when next we meet. Thank you for reminding me of our desire to visit Fort Hastral. Right, Hastral? Yes. And thank you so much for joining Dee Dee and myself and, of course, check as the human. Oh, actually, do, if you would, be so kind as to remind me that I have contracted porphyric hemophilia. It would be <laughs> quite a surprise if I forgot. Wait, no, that's under this. Yes, yes. Mm, all right. For the moment, I would like to say thank you for watching. I hope you found our journey entertaining and maybe even just a little informative. I would like to invite you to think of something you truly love, something that brings a smile to your face, a warmth to your heart, your favorite song, your favorite person, your favorite, oh, what do they call those pictures that move? Perhaps your favorite scent or food, whatever it is. Hold on to it for a moment. Let it brighten your day. Bring that smile to your face and that warmth to your heart. Most of all, though, I would like to ask you to please, please take care. <laughs>